Uh, we're going to try to find the equation of a parabola passing through three points. Um, so this is a parabola that either opens up or down. Um, and the three points, I'm just going to type them for my own benefit, um, would be, let's say, 3, 2, missing parentheses, blah. Let me write them as vectors. 3, 2, um, 5, negative 4, and let's say 6. Now let's go with uh, 8, comma, I don't know. Four. So those are the three points that it's going to go through. And what I'm, I'm going to do something with the cast here to begin with, just so you can kind of follow along. So I'm saying that f of x is actually the sort of general quadratic. X plus c. I'm aware that there's another way to solve this on the calculator, but it doesn't really teach you any math. So, um, I mean, I might show you that later in this video or in another video, but not this time. So if I evaluate f at 3, um, I know that that's going to have to equal 2. That gives me one equation. If I evaluate f at 5, I know it has to equal negative 4. And if I evaluate f at um, 8, I know that it has to give me positive 4. So now I have three equations uh, in three unknowns, which means I can solve it. One of the best ways to solve that is uh, with a matrix. So I hit the template. I'm going to create a, a 3 by 4 matrix here. Um, press OK. And then I'm going to, so this first column here is my A values, so uh, 9, and then this is my B values, 3, and my C values, 1, and then uh, the constants or the solutions, uh, 25, 5, 1, negative 4, 64, 8, 1, and 4. And so I'm going to press Enter there. And then what I want to do is I want to put this in reduced row echelon form, um, which basically turns the uh, the A, B, and C columns into an identity matrix. Um, so that's going to be a matrix, and then uh, reduced row echelon form. Or you can just type that, which is considerably easier to do. Paste that, like that. So this tells me that A is uh, this value, B is this value, and C is that value. I'm going to go back, I'm going to redefine my function. So g of x is 17 over 15 x squared um, minus 181 over 15 x and then plus 28. And now what I'm going to do is check and see uh, g of, I can't remember my values, g of something, g of 3 is 2. So let's see if that's true. Let's see, 3 comma... What are the other values? Let me look. Uh, 5 and 8. I'll evaluate all those in one shot. 8. And I get 2, negative 4, and 4, which is exactly what I was expecting. So I'm done. Uh, the other way to do this, although I'm going to have a hard time remembering. Let me get this back. Okay. The other way to do this um, it doesn't involve knowing any math, which is why I'm not really a fan of it is if you go to uh, algebra and then uh, solve system of equations and then we want to solve a linear system I have three equations um, x, y, z, it doesn't really matter, I'm going to change it to a, b, and c um, and then it just asks you, so I'm going to type it in, so it's uh, 9a plus 3b plus c equals 2 25a plus 5b plus c equals negative 4 and 64a plus 8b plus c equals 4. Press enter, and it gives you the coefficients, but again, like, not a lot of math being learned there. So, you're free to do it either way. Um, I really recommend the matrix method, because it will generalize to more things later on in life for you. Um, but that's how I would do it. So, hope that is helpful to you.